This year, school will look a lot different for students. In Richmond, the first nine weeks will be all virtual, but some kids will be getting a bit more hands-on experience while learning outside of the classroom. This is an opportunity for us to make lemons into lemonade. TQ and Adam Evans decided to create their own learning pod for boys. We really had to put our thinking hats on and really be creative and think about the skill sets that both my husband and I brought to the table, thinking about the needs of our family. Adam recently retired from teaching after facing family medical emergencies. And with the pandemic, he knew his family needed to come first. Our pod is going to be um, exclusively of all boys. Um, you know, kindergarten through third grade. One of the awesome parts about it is um, sometimes in public education, we're not able to touch on some of the topics that, you know, such as social justice and um, or certain perspectives and uh, on history, uh, really trying to have more of a community sense uh, while still touching on that social emotional side as well. The Boys Pod is a new kind of learning environment that focuses on community and knowing what it means to be a good citizen along with creating a love for nature. We have chickens, so they'll have an opportunity to get eggs in the morning and learn about that. We have gardens, so there'll be some supplemental education around gardening and horticulture. And so we're just really excited about all of the amazing um, supplemental education that we can add to the current uh, RPS curriculum. And I don't think there's a single thing we've done where it's just a traditional way, I guess you would say. Just down the street is another pod for preschoolers. Hi, Rainbow. Desiree Wisnoski says she and TQ connected through a mutual friend and created the Rainbow Pod. Right. I was like, hey, I have a pre k that I'm really trying to get ready and find something for, and so did she, and it kind of organically worked out. So we were like, well, let's come together, and we might as well do two pods. And she ended up naming it our little rainbow pod and it fit perfectly because we have such inclusivity and diversity within both of our pods. The rainbow pod has been operating for a couple of weeks and so far the little ones are adjusting well. Everything's a game, a song, a hands-on craft, getting outside, going on walks, getting in nature, turning everything we can into a lesson and incorporating all the core things that they'll obviously need with before they start kindergarten. Both pods work closely together. The boys pod is set to have six students and the pre-K pod will have four. Both groups decided along with COVID-19 guidelines for safety, they would be open and honest and remain on the same page. But we're all very transparent. If we have a family visit or hey, we might go out to a restaurant, like we, we agree and have that level of trust amongst us. This year, school may look different, but at the end of the day, I would say, don't be afraid to think outside of the box. That is going to be okay. That the children are just as anxious and just as stressed as the parents. And to have patience with yourselves and with your children. Working for you, Gabrielle Harmon, CBS 6 News.